Do you need to go to circus school? Well, short answer, it depends. A lot of people ask me, do I need to go to circus school to have a career as a professional circus artist? Really, the short answer is no, of course not. But I want you to do a thought experiment right now. If you had to, for a year, go train your discipline two hours a day, work out after that, plus stretch, plus do acrobatics, plus hire coaches for all of these, how willing do you think you'd be to stick with it? And then for two years, three years. I think you see where I'm going with this. I'll get into some of the cons later, but here are some of the pros of going to circus school. Pro number one is accountability. You're giving them money to make sure you train. This accountability in turn leads to consistency, which means for three years, you're gonna be in the room five days a week minimum. And that consistency is the real secret to getting good at anything. You just keep doing it and keep challenging yourself day after day after day, week after week, year after year. And I think that's easier to do in that setting than it is on your own while you're trying to balance other life obligations. You're basically giving yourself permission to train and dedicate your entire life to that practice for three years. Let's talk opportunities. Two of my end of the year school shows were directed by people from The Seven Fingers, Shana Carroll and Gypsy Snyder. That's a hard opportunity to come across if you're just going at it on your own. Just by being at the school, you are naturally crossing paths with a lot of very talented people that work in the industry. Whether it's the, the coaches that might have been performers before, whether it's people directing the end of the year school shows or coming in for creation weeks, these are all ways to meet people that are actually in the business or that are friends with or know other people in the business and can give you advice that might be more relevant to you and to where you live than, for example, some guy on YouTube. I think besides dedicated practice for three years, the main difference about going to a circus school is that you're gonna be well-rounded. And this is gonna to lead to opportunities that require well-rounded performers like a lot of smaller contemporary shows where you're gonna have to do lots of different things on stage. You're gonna have to act or dance or you know, do a second or third or even fourth discipline for you. This is the sort of thing that the experience of being in a big building committed to circus for three years is naturally gonna expose you to all these things and even inherently because of the scheduling, they design it so that you are exposed to all of these things. Whereas if you're trying to learn on your own, it's a lot more likely you'll just kind of do the things that you like or, or not bring them all up to the same level as when you're forced to do them three times a week, every week, even the stuff you don't like. As my friend Mason said before I auditioned, is this something you really want to do? Like, are you interested in spending part of your week dancing like a salad bowl? stirring the tomatoes. Are you interested in having to do the splits three times a week? This is not my favorite part. Just stretching. Are you interested in working out? Not everyone is. And that's okay. Maybe all you want to do is contact juggle or all you want to do is your contortion number and you're not interested in dancing. You're not interested in, in acting. You're really just focused on your specific discipline I think that's totally fine and there's a lot of work you can do. Three years is a long time. You could be out there performing, getting performing experience and making contacts while still training and improving. It's also money. So that money's good for accountability, but you're paying money to go to a circus school and you also won't have much time to make money for those three years. From a financial perspective, any sort of higher education is an investment. You're betting that with your improved skills, you'll be able to get higher paying jobs it will be worth it in the long term. Circus, however, is a fairly short career relative to other things, which is why circus schools often don't take anyone in their late 20s. The career just isn't long enough to justify the investment. So that might be a con for you, especially if you're a little bit older. In conclusion, I would say if you're self-educated, you can make a very good act in a single discipline and get flexible enough or strong enough or, or good enough at juggling or trapeze or whatever it is to sell your unique act. And I think getting well-rounded enough takes a lot more time and dedication, such as five days a week at a circus school for three years, to do all of the things. 
So this can lead to you working in opportunities like a cabaret where you just have your one act, totally fine, which you could also do if you did circus school. But I think if you're less well-rounded, it's less likely you're gonna find yourself in a show that requires um, this mix of disciplines and skills that a, a circus school provides. Are there exceptions to this? Absolutely. Is my background mostly hanging out with people that went to circus school? Totally. But this is the thing that I've seen kind of over the years. Even if people didn't do ENC, they often did some other sort of circus school. I think the exception to this would be like a comedy juggling act, like a stand-up sort of humor and circus in the same thing. I think at least at ENC anyways, it tends more towards the dance school mindset uh, than like the humorous cabaret mindset. Maybe other schools are different, but I think if you want to go in this style and you like this style, you might be better off doing something else. You might be better off, you know, doing, uh, doing street shows, doing uh, cabaret shows, doing variety shows. You know, you see a lot of a lot of jugglers on television and they're super funny and it's not at all a style you would see if you went to circus school. There are two ways to do juggling tricks, with applause and the way that we're doing them. What do you think so far? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Do you have a different experience? Let me know down in the comments below and subscribe while you're down there for more information about working professionally as a circus artist.